And head coach Amber Hoffman now joining us. And Amber, congratulations. Uh, a good second place finish in the conference and a good win by your club. I know you're a little nervous coming into this one. How did you feel after it? Um, I felt pretty good. I think the girls, like Alyssa said, come out slow. That's kind of a habit of ours. Um, I was happy with that they finally woke up and we came out playing. So. Did you say anything as far as the adjustments with the block? I know that Sabus was kind of giving them some problems. What adjustments did you tell them to make? For hitting? Yeah. Um, I told them she was always in the middle, so you had to watch that line because there was always a little bit shorter girl there. So watching that line would really help. Um, I thought we were setting the ball up great. It was just getting those hits in, which sometimes takes a little bit of warm up for us to do. So that first game is sometimes a struggle, but um, we came out strong. Came out hitting. It looked like as well that uh, the sets were a little lower there when you got things going, just getting the ball a little quicker. Yep, trying to move a little bit faster, getting the ball back over their side, let them make mistakes, and us keep playing our game. Overall back row tonight, how did you feel like your back row played? I was happy with our back row, and I've been happy with our back row all of our season. Um, they're quick and passing moves her butt. I tell Lisa about every game, like, God, I love her. She just, she just seems to always be there, and she's always hustling, so I appreciate her a lot. So I've been happy with our back row. It's the front row we've really been focusing on. You know, we always usually get those set up. And try to get How do you feel like the team's grown there in the front row this season? I, they've grown a lot from, from where we started, so I'm happy with that, too. But I just know they can do better, and I just got to get them to believe that they can do better. So... Um, we've done a good job on not getting so down on ourselves when we're, you know, starting to get in a rut. So um, that's been helping. The team has really come together over the last couple games. And they're all working hard. Coach, off to a slow start in the third game tonight as well, but uh, you guys turned it around and once you did, you really turned it around and got a gigantic a 10 point lead at one time. What did you feel like turned that momentum? Um, I just think we told them that if they win in three games, that we get to stop at McDonald's and get ice cream. Uh, sometimes that motivation for them helps, and I don't know if they take their, took their mind off that at the end of the game there, but um, I don't know. I just think they turn it around themselves. You know, you get one or two good kills and it pumps them back up, so that helps. One other player I got to mention tonight, we didn't talk to her, uh, Jenna Houseman had a great run there in the serves in that second game and also had another great dig down here that hit the top of the net and flipped over for a point for you guys. Talk about the development of that young sophomore. Oh, I am so excited for her. I, I can't wait for her to grow and just keep watching her. She's come so far just this year and being only a sophomore, I'm, I'm really looking forward to working with her the next year. I can't wait until she's a senior. You got to head over to Booyer Valley now for the opening round of the playoffs. It's Second a team chance. you've seen. Absolutely. You were frustrated when you lost to them that first time. Uh, uh, what do you got to do to come out on top this time? I think just we need to wake up right away. And I think that's what I've been telling the girls time after time. Is, you know, we need to go out strong right away. It's a team we can beat and a team we can take. So it's just have it in there. So. Well, Amber, I tell you what, congratulations on the win tonight and the second place finish. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Head coach Amber Hoffman again.